some reviews on how to, and today we're going to take a look at a unreleased product, which is the Quest one and a half liter electric coffee percolator. Okay, so today we're going to take a look at this product. Uh, it's currently not on the market yet, so price-wise I can't give you any indications, uh, but I can give you a look at the product itself. Um, when it comes out, I'll update the video and put some links in the description below so you can go off and buy one. But this is going to be a, uh, a preview video, so let's take a look and see what we get in the box. Okay, so we've got a uh, 360 degree charging base and a what's that, about half a meter electric cable with a UK 13 amp plug. As with usual request, we get a nice full color instruction manual. And no doubt we'll be having a look at that in a bit to see how to put all the uh, filtration together. Okay, so that looks pretty smart. So let's have a look and see what this is made of. So it's brushed aluminium around the sides. You've got a plastic uh, heat proof or heat resistant handle so you're not going to burn yourself. On the top, you've got a, another stainless steel lid and a plastic uh, removal. So you're not going to burn your fingers. Uh, inside, you get all your filtration devices. So your coffee goes in there, put the top on, and insert the plunger. So looking at all these bits and pieces, I'm not entirely sure how this goes together. It's probably idiot proof, but I'm a special kind of idiot. So let's have a look at the instructions and see what we need to do. In. Okay, so we've read the instructions on how to use the percolator, which now it all makes complete sense. So I was being a bit of an idiot. But then first time, you never know how to use these things properly, so it's always worth checking out the instructions to make sure you're doing it properly. So inside the uh, percolator, there's a measurement on the inside, which goes from 4 cups up to 12 cups. So depending on how much coffee you want to make, you can uh, guesstimate how much water you need. So on the box itself, it actually says it's a 1.5 litre 7 cup capacity. Um, but on the inside it does say it's a 12 cup capacity, so I was a little bit confused with that. But anyway, so first we need to fill this up with water, so we'll go ahead and do that now. <laughs> right, so we're back, so we've got a jug of water, so we're going to fill it up to the, uh, the appropriate level. Obviously you can do this through uh, filtered water, so if you want filtered water in your coffee, uh, you can check out my uh, Brita filter link, which is up here somewhere. Now that jug there is about a litre, so we were good for about eight cups of coffee, so it should keep me going for a little while. So the next thing to do is now insert the, uh, the pump pipe, and next is to insert the coffee holder. So now we need to add some coffee. Now this is quite a, uh, a fine coffee ground. Uh, they do recommend with the basket because it's a, a mechanical basket, the finer the coffee, there are a chance that some of the granules will come through, but they will settle at the bottom, so you're not going to get a mouthful of granules. So if you can, try and use a slightly coarser grain of uh, coffee. So I'm not sure how much of this we need to put in. So we'll do three big teaspoons, or tablespoons, or whatever kind of spoon it is, I'm not sure. Four, three, whatever. Right, so that's the coffee in, so let's put the... Uh, the top on and stick the lid over the top of that so that's all firmly in position and then all we have to do is to put it on the base and on the bottom there's the on button so you press that and we've got no power oh the lights are on the front not on the button that confused me so as you can see it's got a 360 degree base and at the moment the red LED light's on and basically we've just got to wait for the green light to come on so that the coffee's ready. And we can hear that boiling already. I don't know if you can pick it up on the microphone. Oh, and you can see the coffee is being pumped up around the, uh, the top of the percolator. So the water is being pumped up to the top it then goes back down through the coffee basket and then back into the reservoir at the bottom. So uh, let's talk about the, uh, the heating element. At the moment 
This has got probably the best heating element you can get on the market, which is made by Strix, which are a uh, company based in the Isle of Man. They have produced over uh, a billion heating thermostats, uh, and that company f was founded sometime after the war, I believe, in 1940s, something like that. And ever since then, they've been innovating and perfecting the design of uh, coffee or kettle heating elements. Uh, the elements found in this particular Quest model, you can find in other brands such as kind of Breville, Bosch, DeLonghi, all the kind of big names. So it is a, a definitely a quality product, even though you may not have heard of the Quest name. Uh, and if you're interested in Quest products, actually, if you go to questhome.co.uk, again, I'll put a link in the description below so you can check out the other items that Quest do. Um, some of the other items, actually, such as their two slice toaster, two slice toaster, and the fast boil pyramid kettle, both of which we'll be doing videos on uh, in the coming days or weeks. So let's go through some of the other features of this uh, percolator. So uh, one and a half liter, as we said, it says seven cups on there, but it's actually 12 on the inside. So I guess depending on how much coffee you have in your cup, if you go for those tiny little Italian cups, then it probably would be 12. If you're going for like kind of mugs, then it would be uh, obviously less depending on how much you put in. So we've got a 360 degree cordless charging base. You've got a concealed stainless steel heating element, again made by Strix. You've got automatic shut off and cut out, so safety features are paramount on this. Um, you've got a boil dry safety cut out. You've also got overheat protection, uh, so it's not going to boil dry and destroy itself, etc. You've got built in cord storage in the base, so if you don't want the cord showing or your plugs nearby where the percolator is going to be, you can wind up some of the cable underneath, so that's good for storage and cable management. You've got non slip feet, which yeah, I agree, they're pretty sticky, so that's not going anywhere. Obviously, power indicator lights, um, and you've got the integrated filter, which is built in, that's all good. And you've got the keep warm function, so as soon as this is finished percolating, um, it will stop boiling, and it will then go into the kind of keep warm mode, which will stay active for about 40 minutes or so. If you want to then keep it warm for longer, just press the power button in again, and it will continue through the cycle. Uh, voltage wise this can be used on AC 220 to 240 volts and it is a rated power of around about 900 to 1100 watts. Uh, cord length as we said is about uh, half a meter, just over half a meter. So that's pretty much it for the features and specs. Um, we're just going to wait now for this to uh, continue through the cycle. Okay so the coffee has been uh, fully percolated and has uh, left a lovely aroma in the air. So best thing to do now is to pour ourselves a cup and uh, see what it's like. Here's a cup I had prepared earlier with some milk in already. So all we do is lift off and pour it in. And that's pretty much a non-drip spout, so that's a plus point, we like that. And then when you put it back on the base, it carries on keeping it warm. So if the next person along wants a cup of coffee in 20 minutes or so, it's still going to be nice and piping hot, ready for them to drink. Let's try this and see what it's like. Might be a bit hot. Mmm, pretty good. In fact, very good. So, that's been the Quest 1.5 litre electric coffee percolator. I've been Mike. This is Mike's unboxing reviews and how-to. And we'll see you again in the next video. Thanks for watching.